foreign minister Chin Gong's statement seemed um, sort of abrasive uh, and combative, we could look back to the recent uh, hearing that was held by the new uh, House Committee on China. And that rhetoric was, was very similar, if not even more um, abrasive in terms of the accusations which were being made. Um, and again, that creates this sort of um, climate of acrimony in which it's very, very hard for either side to sort of say, hey, actually we have some mutual interests here, let's try and work on those. In terms of historical legacy, um, she likes to think of himself in the league of the other really prominent leaders of the People's Republic of China since 1949. And so that would be Mao and that would be uh, Deng Xiaoping, and he, I think he sees himself as somehow different than his predecessors, Hu Jintao and Jiang Zemin, who didn't oversee or weren't in charge of real steps forwards in terms of the project of national unification as they see it. Um, and in that regard, Taiwan is the one big outstanding issue that she could turn to and say, look, we've become a global power and we've completed the project of national unification. I'm actually the greatest leader of modern China, um, bar none, even surpassing Mao.